What's good, everybody? It's your boy Justifies, and welcome back, everybody. What's good? It's your boy Justifies, and we are back. I said it again. Whatever. We are back in our Florida State Seminoles game here. Today, we are going to be taking on FIU. As you guys can see, we are better at everything except for pass defense and turnover differential. Actually, no, that's not true. I don't know why it's saying turnover. Anyways, we are 7 0. FIU is 1 in 6. Um, they suck. Um, it's the worst team we're going to face all year. Um, but one thing I wanted to take a look at here was the top 25 polls. As you guys see in the coaches poll, we are number three still. And then it's North Carolina, and then Ohio State, and then LSU, and then USC, Michigan State, Oklahoma, and Tulane rounding out the top 10. Now, the media poll, a little different. Texas, Georgia, us, LSU, North Carolina, Ohio State, USC, Michigan State, Oklahoma, and Tulane. So, and the BCS polls officially came out this week, and we are number three. As you guys can see, this is the first week the BCS polls are out. Georgia, Texas, us, LSU are the top four. North Carolina, Ohio State, USC, and Michigan State round that round out the top eight and then Oklahoma and Tulane Clemson Michigan Bama US UCF Auburn TCU Arizona Troy Cincy Coastal Oregon Iowa State Washington Baylor and Florida round out the top 25 there so this obviously is what we use this is what we use for the ranking systems for the college football playoff utility tool this is what we use so Currently, obviously, it would be uh, Texas versus us and Georgia versus LSU. However, that's the, the, this is not going to be the, the top four when it comes to it because... Wait, how do they only have five games played? What? I don't know. But um, either way, boys, right? Um, either way, right? Basically, if you think about it, us and North Carolina are going to play each other most likely in the ACC championship game. Georgia and LSU are going to play each other in the in the uh, SEC championship game most likely. So, and Ohio State and Michigan State are most likely going to play each other in the in the Big Ten championship. So, I'm not sure if Oklahoma and Texas are on opposite sides of the Big 12, but if they're not, they most likely would be playing each other. But uh, that means that one team is going to drop far because all these teams that are undefeated here in the top eight, any of them, with any of these teams losing, they're out. And this is going to move up another, other, another. So a team like USC, right, if... Um, North Carolina, LSU both lost. And uh, if LSU and North Carolina both lost, I mean, they might have a chance if they win their championship. I mean, it would be tough because they'd probably be like fifth. But I mean, there's so much still left to be played, but I'm just kind of kind of going through it. Let's take a look at the Heisman watch right now. Jordan Travis back on top after a couple good games. And Jay Sean Corbin. Um... Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Conference standings, obviously, we are at the top. Not even close right now. Uh, the best other team is 4-2. and two. BCS rankings obviously came out. Toughest places to play is Dope Campbell State. They are number six. We have a six-game win streak there, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, nothing else really going on right now. So let's go ahead and open up a can of whoop ass here on FIU. All right, so it's raining here in Florida. What's new as we take on FIU? This should not be hard here, boys. This should not be hard. They are not a good football team. And we win the toss for the first time in a couple weeks, actually. Let's go ahead and get this thing underway. Boys, here we go. We'll go ahead and let uh, let Jordan Travis kind of take over a little bit here. And he's got Keyshawn Helton on the first play of the game. Oh, we got him! Oh! Oh, Keyshawn Helton! Oh, my goodness! Oh, 
Oh my gosh! He just put four FIU defenders on skates. The first play of first play from scrimmage. Oh my goodness! Wow! Defense goes ahead and kits. I I'm still baffled. He just made like six people miss on that one play alone. Man, this is uh Alright, good catch, Burl. There we go. There he's got Burl right there out in front. First down, thirty yard reception for Joshua Burl. He's got Keyshawn Helton across his body. Travis is going to scramble here and get out of bounds. 19-yard rush. Dang it. And he's got Wilson. First down. And Jay Sean Corbin in for the score. Nice and easy. That's all it takes. Defense gets a stop, and we're right back out on offense. Co affiliate goes in there for a two yard rush. And he's got. Corbin, first down and way more. That's going to be first incomplete pass from Jordan Travis today. And he's got Corbin. And stumbles inside the five. Oh my gosh. And Jordan Travis is in there for the run. I mean, hats off to FIU. They're able to get some points. I didn't expect them to be able to get any points today, to be honest with you. Play action here. Oh, taken down there. He's got a step, and he's got Wilson. No one's going to catch him. 66 yard touchdown. Let's go. And he's got Keyshawn Helton for a 14-yard out route. That's going to be Ontario Wilson for a five-yard reception. What a move by Keyshawn Helton right there. 17-yard reception. Oh, baby. Picked, of course. I I threw it a little too late. If I threw it like when he was at the 20, maybe. Whatever. We're letting Jordan Travis air the ball out today, so can't blame him for throwing the football. Right 
That sucks, you know, whatever. Ah. He's got Jay Sean Corbin, 32 yard first down. We do. Dives for the end zone and he's got it. Ontario Wilson, 25 yard reception on the fake wheel on the fake screen wheel. 144 left to go here in the half. We're up 35 to 3. And he's got Keyshawn Helton, 33 yards. He's got Ontario Wilson, first down. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know what kind of defensive scheme they schemed up there, but it was something that's just weird. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Again, bro. Okay, I, I I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. They can't they they don't drop a single football. And they just they suck. If he jumped that too. We're just going to go to halftime here and just call it a half. Cuz I am uh not going to lie with you dude. I'm getting I'm getting sick of this team already. Never mind. Screw you. So I thought, boy. And we get 3. I mean this team. I mean this game's over. It just kind of. I mean the interceptions are just annoying. First down, Jordan Travis. Hang that shouldn't have been a pick either. He just threw it right at him. That's annoying, man. That's an that's so that pisses me off. That pisses me off. There's another. It's either a pick or a touchdown. There's no in between, and it's really starting to frustrate me. It's really starting to frustrate me because he's just hurting the stats. This team. All right, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Why is he throwing it away that way? Nine yards. Better. Come on. Got him. Get in there, baby. Let's go, man. It's those things like that. That could easily have been picked. If the guy jumped, he I wouldn't it would I wouldn't have been surprised. There we go. 21 yards. Yep, 
we go. Oh, get that off. Ah. Ah, oh, I tried to sneak it in. Whatever. I don't need him getting hurt against FIU. As I say that. There we go. Wyatt Rector. There we go, baby. Got him. Keyshawn Helton. There you go. Rodemaker is officially in the game here. Backups are in. There we go. Jerry Tate, 26 yards. Jerry Tate. See what I'm talking about? Do you see this? It comes out of nowhere. Like, that's why they've had so many picks today. It's because of... This kid, Gray, with the dreads, he's been flying around the field. And that's my fault. Seven picks. Seven. Adam. Alright, whatever. It's alright. I mean, this game's over, so. We get the ball back again. Alright, that's gonna do it. Frustrating game, but, I mean, we dominated. I mean, I'm talking absolutely dominated, but very frustrating in terms of picks and interceptions. You guys heard me get really upset um, when Jordan Travis was just getting just hosed with some stupid Heisman cheese. But it's all right. All right. So as you can see here. Take a look at the stats. Jordan Travis had five touchdowns and five picks. 24 for 34, 644 yards, five touchdowns, sacked three times. Uh, rushing wise, not much. Passing, Keyshawn Helton had 224, Ontario Wilson 121, 
and Jay Sean Corbin had 107. Burrell 75. Tate 38. Hayes 71. McLean 15. McDonald 2 and Wyatt Rector 62. So one touchdown for Hayes, two for Wilson, and two for Hilton. Keyshawn Hilton is going to probably get drafted this year. Um, he can't come back, unfortunately, neither can Ontario Wilson. So that's why having Phil Collins coming in here, um, our five-star, number six ranked in the country uh, receiver uh, next year is going to be really, really helpful. So other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button. Hit that sub button if you're new. I really appreciate it more than you guys would know. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.